Good afternoon and a very warm welcome. You're listening to Il Quotidiano Breaking News in three minutes. I'm Sara Alawani. Let's take a look at our headlines in a coffee break time. We open today our news broadcast with the tragedy happened yesterday where a 17 years old cyclist died after being hit by a vehicle yesterday afternoon on the provincial road at Civezzano. After the impact, the boy was thrown several meters and lost consciousness. Timely help was of no use after the hospital rush. The young man died in intensive care unit. Another cyclist was run over yesterday afternoon at around 4 o'clock in Ponte Arche, getting caught uh, under the vehicle. According to reports, the 51 years old man was helicoptered to hospital in serious condition with multiple fractures all over his body. An inquiry has been opened to shed light on the death of John Sebastian Floriani, the 26 years old rock climber who died last Saturday at Santa Chiara, 10 days after falling from Mount Calisio, where he was engaged in rock removal works. The file for manslaughter was opened by the public prosecutor on duty, Nadia La Femina, who also entered the names of eight people in the register of suspects, among them also the company managers and a municipal manager. And from the international news, the US paused a shipment of bombs to Israel last week over concerns that Israel was approaching a decision on launching a full-scale assault on the southern Gaza city of Rafah. The pausing of the aid shipment is the most striking manifestation of the growing daylight between Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government and the administration of Joe Biden, which has called on Israel to do far more to protect the lives of innocent civilians in Gaza. These were the news of today, 10th of May. Thank you for listening and stay tuned with the next episode.